And daylight today revealed the chaotic scene the officers faced last night. There are holes where bullets pierce the glass of the T-Mobile shop in Richmond Hill. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live now at the scene, continuing our team coverage. With more on the investigation, Alice. Christine, the area around the T-Mobile store here has been closed off all day as we've seen police officers and detectives going in and out of the store as they continue their investigation. Now, less than a minute after officers arrived last night, police say more than 40 shots were fired during this attempted robbery. This afternoon, police provided more details. The view from Chopper 2 shows the numerous yellow evidence markers on the street and sidewalk outside of the T-Mobile on Atlantic Avenue and 120th Street in Richmond Hill. A closer look shows the blue markers on the windows where bullets pierced the glass. Police say 42 shots were fired over the span of 11 seconds last night by officers outside the store. I heard pfft, there was too many, bro. There was like at least nine or ten. Just after 6 o'clock Tuesday night, Detective Brian Simonson and Sergeant Matthew Gorman were out conducting surveillance on an unrelated case when a call came in for an armed robbery at the T-Mobile store. Police say they went to assist other officers responding, even though they didn't have to. It's going to be a gunpoint robber at the T-Mobile. Police say the sergeant and detective in plain clothes arrived at the same time as the responding unit. Sergeant Gorman and two uniformed officers went inside, then retreated. The perpetrator comes from the back of the location, that office, and he presents himself with the firearm pointed in the direction of the officers. Christopher Ransom charged at the officers with a gun raised, simulating firing at those officers. Police say seven officers, including Detective Simonson and Sergeant Gorman, fired their weapons. Detective Simonson was shot one time in the chest by friendly fire. Police say he was not wearing a bulletproof vest. Sergeant Gorman was shot in the leg. Sources say the suspect, 27-year-old Christopher Ransom, was shot eight times and survived. Ransom's gun, police say, turned out to be a fake. This happens in seconds. It goes from zero to 60. You're investigating a possible crime, and all of a sudden someone's charging at you, pointing what you believe to be a firearm, simulating firing at you. It raises everything very quickly. As the investigation continues, the loss of Detective Brian Simonson top of mind as the mayor held a moment of silence this morning. 19 years on the force protecting us, and he gave his life for us. Police do say that officers receive training at the gun range every six months, and they're taught how to avoid things like crossfire. But they say in this sort of situation, adrenaline is going, and you're in fear for your life. So anything can happen, they say. Also, wearing a bulletproof vest, they say, is department policy. So it's unclear why the detective wasn't wearing one at this time. Five officers had body cam on, body cameras on at the time, so they'll be reviewing that footage as well as footage from inside the T-Mobile store. We're live tonight in Richmond Hill, Queens. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay. Alice, thank you.